amazing voice acting talents show up at a younger age? And uh, did you need a lot of practice to make it all come out? Watch it again and rewind it and watch it again and watch it again and watch it again and watch it 
I thought, and I still kind of do that now. Whenever I'm cleaning my room, I put in Beauty and the Beast, and like that's how I know if I'm working fast enough or not. Like, oh. By the time the movie's over, I'm not done. We have a problem. So, um, <laughs> but I don't think I ever thought of my obsession of memorizing the lines and giving the exact same inflection as Ariel as meaning yes. I needed to do this uh, for a living. Right. But um, I guess maybe it comes in handy. <laughs> Being able to mimic, like Chris said, it is a, a good skill to have. Sometimes you'll be in the booth and you may have how you want to say a line and you do it and the director wants it a little differently done. So they'll give you a note and you try it again. You still don't get what they want if you try it a third time and it's still not what they want. So then they'll just say, say it like this. And that's, I don't take offense to it. You just have to do what they want and be able to mimic exactly the inflection uh, that they just used. Really? <laughs> cool. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome.